Smarten up, godlings. Heaven letter number 5618. April 12, 2016. When you go to the gas station, you have a choice of which grade of gas you buy to fill up your tank with. Do you not have the same choice as to what to fill your heart with? You have the freedom of choice. You have your own will and your own self-determination. Always, you have a choice before you. A mood comes over you? What is a mood next to your freedom? I mean, really, do you think a dark mood is more powerful than you? Empty the mood from your heart and refill it with joy. I imagine that you would choose joy. Perhaps I'm wrong, and you would just as soon have a dark mood than a joyful one. Perhaps you enjoy sinking into a mood and crying out, Uncle, I give up. At the same time, I want to state strongly that surrender does not, I repeat, does not mean defeat. In any case, you have choice. You may think you are helpless. Ahem, this is your first misconception. You have will, and you have freedom of will. Your sense of helplessness may be your preferred mood, so to speak, your preferred platform to come from. You may want to be taken care of rather than venture forth yourself. Helplessness may be your modus operandi. It can work. And, so, you may make yourself a beggar of life. You take on a posture that says poor you, how badly you need handouts. My will for you has ever been independence and joy, arm in arm. Pick yourself up and get on with it. You do not crawl. You do not grovel. No longer do you ever think or say to yourself, alas, poor me. Instead, you get up and thank the ground you walk on that you are upright. Your posture has importance. Your posture is your alignment with the world. Nor do you ever beg from me as though you are helpless. Be your own good fortune. Be your own wishing well. Get on with your self-development. You have rights to your own life in the world. This is not about being something you are not. This is not it at all. This is about your being yourself with all the rights and privileges of a self-sufficient human being. Make your own circumstances. Be your own mover. Know you can. Know that you and your life are doable. Know that whatever your life seems to be, you are responsible. You may shudder at this idea. Let's give way for the moment that you are not responsible for your life as in creating it the way it appears to you. Let's say that you found yourself in this particular spot on earth and are not responsible. With all love for you, I ask you, who is responsible now? Who is going to move your arms and legs now? Thank God that you have the ability to move forward on your own two legs. Thank God you have a heart and a mind and the ability to set them in the direction you want to go. Thank God you are not a beetle on its back who cannot get up. Thank God that you are a being on earth and a higher being in heaven at the same time. Be glad you exist. Be glad you can reach new heights. And if you find yourself paralyzed and cannot move, thank God for your mind and thank God for your heart and be helpful to yourself through the ways of your heart and mind. Thank God you do not make yourself a martyr or a supplicant. Consider that wherever you sit or lie down, that you sit on a royal throne, and you wear a golden crown, for I am with you, and I am within you. Smarten up, godlings. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org